Do you like to talk to your team? I hope you do. Because if you don't, well, it'd be awkward for you. But in this video, we're gonna talk about a tool that really helps you chat well with distributed teams. So first and foremost, Zulip is a 100% open source platform built by a vibrant community of over 1,000 developers from all around the world. It's one of the few tools I've seen out there where you can actually self-host Zulip or use the cloud version that it has. And it has over 90 native integrations and 100 more available through Zapier and If This Then That and other automation tools. If you have the level of expertise as well, you can also build your own custom connection with Zapier API. So one of the most amazing parts about Zulip is threading. It's one of its most powerful features. Threading allows for very organized and easy to follow conversations with multiple topics, reducing clutter and making it easy to find specific information. It also enables users to participate in several discussions at once without getting overwhelmed and to resolve topics when they are completed streamlining communication with a team or organization. So a stream is something like this with content over here. And if I add a new subtopic to it, I can add something like video edits. So my message is gonna be about the video editing workflow is going great. I'm proud of what the team is doing, but do we have any ideas for improvement? So if I press send, you'll notice that it adds an extra thread within here. So rather than just clicking on content, there's also another section for video edits. I can delete any of these topics after they're created or mark as resolved like this stream events one could be marked as resolved or deleted. But for me, as somebody who manages a content team, it's kind of frustrating that there's like so many different aspects of you know content or video. And in other channels like Slack, I mean, look at this, look at what I have to deal with. Look at, <laughs> look at the amount of different channels that are here, right? I would love if I could just have it separated by different topics here. Like another topic would be video recording. And I could say, I've just completed the video recording for Zulip. Let me know if you have any questions. All right, so then now, if I open up it all, I see all the different interaction here, but if I click on one, I would just be able to see the video recording, but it's still within the content section, so I can see it all at once. It makes sense, right? And as you can see right here, we do have this public stream and then there's this core team one. So you have the ability to create private streams, which is really cool, like private Slack channels and similar tools have private ones. But for me, I'm just a big fan of the way that it actually organizes this stuff because I get very frustrated with the way that Slack's organized most of the time. If you wanna manage any of those different integrations, you can actually click on the top right here and go to integrations. And you'll see there are so many different ones here. Like Notion's a big one for me. So I could add the Notion integration, so. I can create a bot for Notion, connect it with Zapier, and then connect it back here. So maybe when a item would be completed inside of Notion, it would then send a message. So useful and easy to do. And as you can see, I do have the ability to invite more users here, and it's actually very flexible. Um, these can be generated by invite link, sent as an email, and you'll notice that people can either enter as guests, members, moderators, admins, owners, and all of these have the ability to customly go away after a certain period of time or never expire. That's a lot of flexibility and data control. And something else that's really great about this, which a lot of people seem to care about nowadays, is that you can actually export data to an on-premises installation at any given time, giving you complete access to your data. I know a lot of different tools don't allow you to do that, but Zulu does, and they're very proud of it. So this is just a very unique Slack alternative. As to be 100% honest, if you can self-host, look at the pricing and tell me it's not better to use this. <laughs> if you're interested, please make sure to click the link down below and check out other videos like this one on how to improve your skills using productivity tools even more.